<laughs> okay, let me pause this. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Snob Queen. And we back with another video. Let me get this out of the way, because this is gonna like, um, trap house. And I don't live in a trap house. It's just, I love my fan. Because I can't sleep without my fan. So, let me just move that away. Okay. So, in today's video, we're doing a get ready with me, a better Q&A, all in one motion. I'm kind of rushing, but not really, because I'm gonna be late anyway. But um, I'm doing this video because I need to just update y'all with my life and what's going on. And yeah, so I'm going to kind of do like a thorough makeup tutorial of what I do. Um, if you don't know, I do makeup. So book me. Period. Snot faces on Instagram. Um, I'll tag it down below. Um, so... Yeah, I asked Instagram a couple questions. I mean, I asked some questions. I told him to ask me questions. I asked him some a couple questions. I'm not gonna ask like a, I mean answer a lot of questions, but like a good amount, you know, to just to see what's going on with me. Um, yeah, I'm about to go to a day party. My best friend Nigel, y'all see him on the channel before. Nigel is dragging me there. Nigel and Nina, really Nina, to be honest. But I'm gonna go. I just got off work this morning. I got home at like 11:30. I had to take me a nap, wash some clothes. If you can hear the washing machine or dryer in the back, that's what that is. It should be done soon, though. And, yeah, so I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to – actually, I'm lying. I'm going to try something new and do my eyebrows last. I don't know how this is going to go. I hope it turns out right because I'll be pissed if it don't because I'm going out after this. So, yeah, don't mind my shirt. This is a makeup stain. This never came out, so I just wear this sometimes to do my makeup. Um – but yeah, so let's just get into the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know it's been like a little minute, but I be trying, I be busy, but give me, just give me if you ever. Um, and yeah, so here we go. My lashes is looking stupid. Leah, don't be mad. Sorry, I got irritated and started picking them off. So I'm gonna put a lash on top of this, on top of both lashes actually. And yeah, so let's get into the, I'm talking too much, talking too much, talking too much, talking too much. Talking too much. All right, let's get into the video. So, first thing I do when I do my makeup is I prime my face. Well, actually, I, I give myself, like, um, a good wash on my face. So, I usually do my makeup when I got a shower. I barely really wear makeup unless I'm doing something special or going out. They're really lucky they gave makeup out of me today only because I said I had to film this video. Like, I had to. Um, so, usually I prime my face with um, my, uh, my serum that I use. I use Pretty Melanin. A lot of people ask me what I use on my skin. Because my skin do be looking real good. It's been showing out. I was actually very scared because I ran out of my stuff. And the shipping kind of takes a long time. So, I was without my stuff for like a week. So, I was just screaming like... Because I don't use nothing else on my face. So, I was just hoping to God my face didn't break out. Um, but I use the Pretty Melanin Serum on my face. After I used the um, face wash. So it's been sinking in now. It's pretty good. And then I prep my face also with milk magnesium. The lo and behold milk magnesium. I use this because I like to have a matte look. Um, I love me a good matte. Okay. I'm not really like a dewy girl. I'm a matte girl. And I love what my makeup looks like. Bow. Look at me now. So I'm gonna prep my face and then while I'm prepping my face, I'll start answering some questions. So I just take, I just wash my makeup brushes as well. And you know what? I should have got a paper towel, but whatever. Cause they're still drying, like. So I'm just gonna put it on my face. Like so. Oops. People be like, why do you use on your face? I use it on all my clients. I ain't even gonna cap. And they makeup be lasting. Period. They be trying to keep it on for days. I'm like, uh-uh. 
take it off. You do not want your face to um break out. But I usually just put it under my eyes. Really all over the ankle cap. Boom. So that should be enough. We'll do a little bit more. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I hope my eyebrows come out right doing it last. I've never did that before, but I've been seeing some um, videos about it. So, all right. So let me start answering some questions. I screenshotted them. Yeah, my phone been going crazy today. Like a lot of people text me, and I be getting overwhelmed, a little anxiety. Like when mad people text me at the same time, I be like, all right, bro. Let me move this out the way. Okay, first question is. Where have I been? So honestly, I've been working, like working, working, working. I haven't been recording videos about it because I need to figure out how I want to go about recording flight attendant videos. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know how I want to do it. So I need to look into that. If you have any suggestions, please comment below. Um, But that's really where I've been. I've just been working. Um, Like I said, I'm a flight attendant. I do makeup. My makeup business has been booming lately and not like individual clients, more like um, event clients, like photo shoots, weddings. I did two, two weddings so far. I have another one coming up um, next month. Um, I did some photo shoots. I actually have another photo shoot coming up next week or a week after or something like that. Um, so just like stuff like that. I've been busy with that. And then I also sometimes do work in the club. Um, I have, I worked, I think like a week ago, but I, um, so I've been doing that. So I just been busy with life. Honestly, that's really it. I don't have no excuse for not making videos. Not even a lot of you. I don't, I just be lazy. I'd be tired. Flying in the air be a lot, y'all. So next question. Um, what is your biggest motivation? Um, that's a good question that I don't know the answer to. I think just me knowing that I can make it to the top. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I can see myself being so successful in life. It's crazy. Like, I can see myself really, like, showing out. Being lit. Um, being very financially stable. Being, um... Let me put my phone in trouble. Sorry, I just got sidetracked. <laughs> um, financially stable. Being able to provide, um still traveling in my life just i can, that's my motivation like just me being to the top that kind of motivates me to keep going because i know i want to be to the top i'm not going to work a nine to five every single day i know i'm not going to do that so i want to just have that to motivate me to keep going don't stop i want my makeup business to go crazy and that's just gonna keep me going like i know i gotta get to the top period i don't really settle for nothing what did you want to be growing up That's a good question. I don't know. What did I want to be? I mean, I think every kid wanted to be a teacher. I used to be in the room packing papers out of my bed. Kobe. Brianna. Nobody's in the freaking room. But I was doing that. So I guess a teacher. I used to want to be a chef. Um, I was this close to doing it, but I changed my mind in college. I was like, nah. Chefs have literally no lives. And I'm very family oriented. And I'm going to miss my mom on Christmas and Thanksgiving and my brother and my dad and stuff like that. So I was like, mm -mm. can't do it. Um, how do you manage to keep your business intact while having a full-time job? Baby, it's hard. Not even going to cap. It's very much hard. Um, this is taking forever to drop. Um, it's very hard. Um, I don't even know. I just know I have to continue to keep my business going or it's going to die down. So just knowing that, I just keep it going. No cap. Like, my makeup business, I need to get better. I'm not really doing a good job. I need to get better at um, promoting, you know, promoting every single day on my page and getting more followers and stuff like that, making more videos, reels, TikTok, stuff like that. But Honestly, I'm not really doing a good job at it, but I'm doing okay. If I'm doing okay, because I'm clearly getting booked for certain things, but it's also word of mouth. Being a good person that I am and the, the love that I give other people, they reciprocate. So they send people to me. 
um even my former uh, my makeup artist i do my makeup sometimes kendra she helped me out like she sends me people um the wedding stuff i partner up with her with it like so it's, I'm really, I'm really getting off on luck right now because my promoting has been trash, but I'm definitely working on it because I know I need to get better. What is the best part about being a flight attendant and the worst part? The worst part I say is the pay. The pay is not that good, to be honest. The best part is the benefits. Um, and also me, me and different people every single day. Me and people that I probably never meet ever again in life, but sometimes it's like, good people that I, i'm actually grateful that i met um benefits for sure you fly for free come on come on you know who doesn't like that um what else what else yeah the worst part i think is just how fatigued i be like i be tired and the pay the pay is gonna get better i get a lot of promotions um with my company and raises so um yeah is this dry now this is still a little wet um but yeah i love my job though i have no complaints for real for real i don't really complain about a lot i just do what i gotta do um all right i'm gonna finish these questions because i'm about to start my foundation so i'm gonna give it a minute all right, once this milk magnesia dries up on your face, it's time to go in with the foundation. I use Fit Me. I just look right. Because honestly, y'all, Zarya is not here, and that's who be doing my edges, and I had to do what they do. So, hopefully it look right. She did my hair too, by the way. I was like, Z, can you just do something to my hair? Because I'm supposed to be doing tapings um with my friend Kayla so I need to get something to hold me over all right so I use 338 and fit me honestly all the foundation I use is fit me drugstore Walmart not really crazy on the expensive I mean granted I have like NARS and stuff like that which is pretty empty but girl please I use 338 and I use 355 I use both. Um, I start off with the 338 and then I go to 335. 338 is lighter, of course. And then 335 is a little darker than me, but it kind of smooths out together. Um, what time is it? Ooh, it's 639. I'm supposed to be at this little event at 730. That's probably not going to happen because I don't even know what I'm wearing. I feel like I need to buy some little 338. So I just apply it. To my face. I think I done got lighter, y'all. But who knows? Um, I apply it to my face very nice and smooth because I want my makeup to come out very nice and smooth. Easy to um blend out. Honestly, y'all, thinking about it, people would be asking me, like, who taught you how to do makeup? Who taught you how to do makeup? Girl, me. You too. Watch my makeup artist do my face. Like, a lot of techniques I do use from make my makeup artist, Michaela, um, and Kendra. Just watching. One thing I'm not good at, though, is, like, popping eyes. Like, I'm not an eye makeup artist. Like, I would deny a client because I'm not even about to play with you. <clears throat> like, I'm not that good... At eyes, I do my regular snob beat. Oh my god, I gotta buy some like 38. I got all the colors in the world, and I'm running out of my favorite. Um, but yeah, eyes is just not my thing, to be honest. I really hope this eyebrow thing come out right, y'all, because. Never in my life have I did this before. Okay, so got some foundation on. I'm going in with a little bit of that 355. Shake it up because I know I'm running out of this. Actually, I think I, I think I got a new one actually. 
Um, yeah, let me just do a little bit of 355. It just warms it up because 338 um, is cool. Like, it's my skin tone. Maybe a little lighter. Not really because my, my skin is getting lighter for some reason. Um, but 335 just warms it up. All right. So, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. Blend it out with a beauty blender. Usually I use um, the pot brush, but I'm gonna go back in with that. I'm just trying some new stuff, why not? I wanted to go live, but I can't because my questions is on. Very smooth application. You see how smooth that look? It look real smooth. Doing makeup takes time. If you don't have time, don't do it because you can tell if it looks rushed. You feel me? Like, I hate a rushed look. For sure. I haven't worn makeup in a minute. I ain't gonna cap. It's light and it's horrible when I get up close, so you can't really tell. But you'll see, stinky. You'll see. All right. So we're all blended out. We are all blended out. Okay. Um. That's pretty good. I'm trying to see if I need some more foundation. All right, so now we're gonna go on with concealer. I'm gonna conceal under my eye, forehead, nose, chin, and um above my lip. What found I mean concealer do I want to use today? Um, I've been liking the tart, but I need to get a darker color. I think this is too light. Um I'm going to use the Lo and Behold Toffee, I mean Fawn. And I'm going to use Elf. I use so many concealers. Shoot, I might as well go on Julia's slice too. Let's just see which one comes out today. Which one is this? This is Fawn. Fawn, not really that light. I don't know if there's something in here, honey. Yeah, hold on. Concealers. So we're going to go in with... Juvia's Place in the color 13. I'm going to get cute with it. Okay. I'm going to go down the nose with it. Chin. Lip. We're going to blend that out. My beauty blender is wet because I just washed it. So make sure your beauty blender is damp or your results will be trash. <laughs> Period. Um, all right, so let me answer some questions. All right. The worst signs you dated or dealt with. <laughs> Woo. Um, I would have to say. Hmm. I'll have to say Leo. They're nuts. Okay. They're like crazy. So be careful. Okay. They're, I'm not going to say that. I mean, I ain't going to say that. They're really nice people. They're very loving people. But they're crazy. They're insane. No cap. Um, 
Who else? Sagittarius. Crazy. Sick as hell. Um. Yeah, we go. We gonna say that. Um. How are you feeling mentally? That's such a nice question. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm not going to sit here and complain. I usually don't really complain to anybody. I just go through things myself and I fixed it. Or I just keep going. You feel me? Um, so mentally, I'm probably like at a 7-8. Like a um, yeah, like a 7-8. Pretty straight. I'm just trying to get through this thing that we call life every day. Okay. Okay, so I'm liking the concealer. It looks really good. I'm going to go in with Tarte Concealer again. I love a bright under eye, so that's why I be going in with um, so many different concealers. Like, I love a bright under eye line. It just makes everything pop. You feel me? Yes. Like, what? Are you crazy? Hello? Hello? Oh. Um, do you be scared when you're on the plane? Girl, no. And no, because I've been flying. Like, I've been doing this flying stuff. So, it's just like, it's not really scary to me. I'm so used to turbulence. Like, if it is turbulence. Um... Like I said, I've been flying since I was probably six, seven years old. My mother used to send me to Jamaica to see with my grandmother every summer by myself. So I was flying as an unaccompanied minor. So yeah, I've been I've been doing this and I love to travel. And you guys gonna play and travel because I'm not getting in the car. I'm not getting in the car. I don't like driving far. I hate road trips. Don't ask me to do it. I don't wanna do it. <laughs> like seriously. Hate it. Um, so yeah, don't mind it. Um, what was the most difficult best part of the probation? No, the probation probationary period being a flight attendant. So I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm on probation. Probation is for six months, um, of you getting the job. Probation just meaning you're on thin ice. You can't really do a lot of things as far as calling out, as far as being late, anything little, they on your ass. Like white on rice. So, um, I am about to hit my six month mark. I'm so excited. It'll be um, in a couple of weeks on April 25th. So I can finally like have sick days, vacation, call out. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. You know, I feel like this six months has been rough, but I, I got through it, period. Like, so I say the best part, um, it's not really the best part about it. I guess the best part is something that's keep keep you motivated. Like, you know you got to make it to work. You know you got to do this. You got to do that. Because if you don't, this is going to happen. You'll lose your job or whatever the case may be. Um, the worst part is you can't call out. You can't do nothing. You could be sick. I mean, you have a sick day, but barely that. So, it's like, get it together. <laughs> you know? So, I'm so excited about that. I've been waiting for this moment. And I'm so excited about it. Um, do you want kids? And if so, when are you going to start having them? Oh. oh. You are so direct, stinky. We're going to go with the elf, and then I'll be done with concealers. This is going to really brighten it up. Um, when you going to start having kids, and if so? <laughs> okay, so kids, not a fan um, of having them. I've been saying that since I was young. Like, I don't want kids. I feel like I'm going to be the rich auntie. My brother just had a kid, actually, my niece. She's so cute. Her name is Charlie. She's a couple months. I love her. Um... And that's really it for me. My mother's having a great time with my um niece. She ain't even thinking about me, okay? So, like I said, I mean, if it happened, it happened. But I'm not, like, planning for that, like. And it's like, I don't really want kids. Because I, like, I have my nieces and nephews. You know, I have a lot of them. So, yeah. Yeah, stinky, yeah. Okay, so we're done concealing, y'all. So now I'm about to, um, I'm not really a contour girl. 
not really a fan of it. So this is what I do to contour. So like I said, y'all, I use the Tarte, the Elf, and the Juvia's Place concealers. Okay. Um. Put that back in there. Kind of stay organized when I'm doing my makeup, so I'm gonna be a lot to clean up. Is this it? So I go in with Juvia's. I love Juvia's Place. I mean, honestly, when I get big, because I will get big, Juvia's Place, give me, like, what's up? What's up? What's up? You feel me? Excuse my ponytail, y'all. It's a mess. I need Zari so bad. Okay, so Juvia's Place, I use this in the bronze um, tan. Wait. Yeah. Tan. Yeah. They have a medium one, which is for lighter tones. Um, tones in my eye. So, yeah, I use that. I use the bottom one clearly, and then I use the MAC in 45. It's kind of like my skin tone, a little darker, but it blends out well. So I take that brush I was telling y'all about, the pop brush. I think it's called Instapop, and it's from um, Real Techniques. Let me dry my brush because it's not all the way dry. Um, so I go through. And I do my line. So I do my jawline. I do above my forehead. And then I'm going to come in with a smaller brush and do my nose. So I just do a little do-do-do. I just warm it up. Like so. I go back in. And do the same thing. Just warming up my face. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. And do my nose. I guess I can use this brush. Let me ask some more, let me ask some more questions. You see yourself getting married? Yeah. Um... Not against it. If it happens, it happens. I'm more like whatever happens, life happens. Like I never really plan for things. <laughs> Which is it could be bad, it could be a bad thing. I never had an argument with somebody I used to talk to about that. Um so we're gonna do my nose like that. Like so. You see how they just snatched it up like that? Wow! So I do that. Time to go. Okay. Um, and now I'm about to set my face with my favorite Sasha Buttercup. Get this off Amazon. Um, we're gonna keep this hair because we're gonna still use it and go back with it. Um, Sasha Buttercup. Um, I've been seeing on because I'm always watching videos to see what I could do better to perfect my um my craft. And this brush, this Morphe brush in M five thirty six, people been using this to set their um to set their face. So I've been using it on my clients. I kind of I've been liking it. Let me see. I've been liking it. So let's see. Um, it's a little dark. So we're gonna go in. And set my face. I usually just do it with the um, beauty blender. Which I'm going to actually go still do. I think I'm going to just wipe away with this brush. Because it's awkward. I'm going to go in, set that concealer. I press it in. It's not like a hard bake. It's like a soft bake. Press it in. Like so. 
I love the banana, like, I mean the buttercup, but what? All right, answer my questions. Um, How much money in your bank account? Mm, not enough, send me some. Ha! Cash app, snot faces, hello. Two S's. Um, yeah, like what? That's like a truth or drink question for sure. Um, okay, this is a good question. I bought two of my friends two birthday gifts and haven't received anything in return for mine. I'm bothered but don't know how to talk about it. What should I do? Or what would you do? <laughs> what would I do? It's not somebody arguing outside. Like, I hope everything's okay. Let me conceal. I mean, do my nose. So I do my nose. Everywhere I conceal, I'm doing. Um, I'm actually about to set my eyes as well. So that, that question is, that's a good question. Um, what would I do? Um, I would, first of all, my friends don't even get down like that. So it's kind of hard to explain. But me personally, like, I would say something like, I'm not coming at you like aggressive or whatever, but I would just say like, you know, I've been buying you birthday gifts, honey. And I don't, you know, I kind of feel some way. Like, I've been thinking about you on your birthday. Do you think about me? Like, is this friendship reciprocated? Like, you feel me? So, I would say something. Sorry. Um, yeah, I would definitely say something. Like, not really, like, aggressively. Just tell them how you feel. Like, you know, hey, I've been peeping. Like, I gave you, you know, I've been giving you gifts and... I don't really get nothing in return. I'm not trying to, trying to be materialistic, but it's just like a friend thing. Like, I just feel like it's a respect thing. Like, damn, I thought we was friends. Like, you feel me? I would just talk about it. If they come crazy at you, then that's how you know what's up. Because why are you getting crazy? So we about to go on with some blush. This is my favorite part of the time. I love a good blush. Blush, blush, blush. Blush me, blush me. If you don't have blush on your face, your face is going to look weird. Hello? Do this place again. Stop playing. Blush palette in volume one. I use both of them, the orange and the pink one. So, I'm going to go in with, I need a good um, brush, brush, oh, here we go. I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques brush, just a buffing brush. And actually, no, nah. I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques brush. I don't know what brush this is, but this one. So it won't be so harsh. This video is 34 minutes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bad with timing, bro. So whatever. So we're gonna go on with some blush. Um, ooh, look how pigmented that is. Like what? So we're gonna go on with some Blush. Honestly, me wouldn't get in the, without doing my eyebrows. I still look cute. We love a good lot of brush, blush, okay? So don't come for me. So, blush is on. We're going to go back with that brush that we have the um, foundation and stuff on a little bit. I mean, the whatever on. And we're going to blend it out. Now we're going to um, get that Sasha Buttercup powder and just clean that up under it. So we're going to woo. Woo. Just like that. Okay, so now we're about to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Because it's a lot. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. All right, so eyebrows is done. I actually like the result um, of doing my eyebrows less. I love it. It's cute. Um... 
yeah um i actually like it um concealer i use for my brows is toffee la girl pro concealer you can never go wrong with that um and then i just use the regular pencil uh, where's this pencil from nk beauty spot store like a dollar um and yeah i actually like it now i'm about to go in with my eyes my stomach is growling clearly i'm hungry um let me just set my eye a little bit more and then i'm gonna go in with my favorite i mean seriously this is all i use on my clients and myself Jaclyn hill divine neutral morphe palette and i use the color booked as you can see it's the only color i really use booked this one right here it's called books and i go with a morphe brush um i don't know what number brush this is but it's the one for eye eye uh shadow um So I just go in with that. I need to get another one because I'm not gonna run out soon. And I just go like so. Like, look how cute they come. Like, that's that's literally my favorite. Literally. Um, y'all, I don't think it's any more questions, but that's really just where I've been, um, and what's been going on with me. I'm definitely coming out with more content. Um, um, I think I have a video. I'm going to do a video on my mom soon of us answering questions. So that should be fun. And then I'm going to do, I filmed the truth or drink that I was supposed to upload, but y'all, we was just too lit. It was just too much going on. It wasn't given. It was just a mess. So, um, yeah. We're going to try to do that again. So, a couple of videos on the way. But, yeah. So, I'm going to stop talking for now. Makeup done got under my lash. I'm going to stop talking and probably just time lapse the rest and then come back for the finished product. So, I can hurry up. So. Actually, no, I'm lying. I can't time my graph to walk y'all through and tell y'all what I do. This brown is just bomb. Like, don't let anybody tell you wrong. Like, what? Are you crazy? Clearly, you're crazy. All right, that should be enough. My, I love a good brown eye, so I be ODing. That's why I be running out. All right. So now we're going to just blend all this stuff out. I'm going to go back with that Instapot brush that I told y'all about. Actually, I'm lying. I'm going to do it under my eye real quick. Um, I'm going to just take this brown and this contour palette. To go under my eye real quick. And just use like a like an edge brush type. Okay, this ain't doing nothing. You can see it do a little difference to your makeup. That's cute. Um, all right. So we're going to dust away product and we're going to dust it away. We're going to dust away the light areas with the MAC N50 lighter. And you just do a little doodle doo. -doo, -doo. And I'm going to dust this away. Like so. Same with my under eye.
going with that brush that I used, um, the, um, whatchamacallit with? I'm just going to just, I mean, combine everything kind of together a little bit so it's not so harsh. And we're going to go on with some lashes. These are from Amazon. Shout out to Michaela to put me on these. We're going to pop these on top. Okay, y'all. So my lashes are now on. I'm about to do my lip. Um, I'm going to go in with the so Sephora pencil in the color molasses. This is literally my favorite pencil. Like that. See how pigmented it is? It's really pigmented. We're gonna go in with, let's see what I want today. I'm gonna do a little lipstick. Uh -uh. Um, this is board meeting. I got it from um Sephora. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. Hello, stop playing. You see the look, okay? Period. This is the finished look. I put a sweatsuit on real cute, real nice. But that's my video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try to list all the products below. But I kind of talk pretty thoroughly when I make a video or whatever. I actually like the way I did my makeup. I may start doing it like this now. Um, and yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, more videos on the way. Like I said, the video with me and my mom. And then another Truth or Drink video is coming. So thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And bye.